anything that, that that's new, anything that people don't understand is unaccepted. If I was just dribbling paint and creating design and form with feeling without any anything figurative, it would be accepted. If I was using acrylic paint to do these things, it would be accepted. Paint, if I was trying to be the next Jackson Pollock, it would be understood. It would be accepted. They'd have a category. But since I do what I do, there is no category. You have to enter contests. You have to enter competitions. And people expect you to explain yourself. And when you explain yourself and these experts in the field don't know what you're talking about, you can be disregarded because they can't put you into a niche. They can't put you into a category. You don't fall into the slots that they already have on the page, their spreadsheet, their column. There's no category for you. But I... So they put me in mixed media when what I'm doing isn't mixed media. But there's no category for what I do as far as they're concerned because this isn't traditional oil painting. You just I'm just using industrial enamel to create art. So drip painting as a technique is most readily associated with abstract expressionism that was a school of art based around New York in the late 1940s and early 1950s. There was a mixed perception of the technique. A lot of people thought that it was taking away the fine art aspect of painting, that it was taking away the expertise and the talent aspect needed of the artist. This. Many people accused that of seeming wild, chaotic, expressive of this sort of grand gesture or heroic need to have this aggressive impulse. Whereas other artists, Jackson Pollock himself included, would say that if you looked at it, it actually did have the form of drawing in the sense that you could follow a line if you wanted to. There wasn't this chaos aspect to it. Your, your paint, your paintings, your art is accepted, but it's not understood. There's a distinction. It's understood by the people who buy it, but not by the people who judge it. Same. We live in an age after Jackson Pollock. We live in an age after Picasso. We live in an age after Andy Warhol, after Peter Max. And yet, they're still looking for traditional. It's hard to believe that I'm the only person doing this. It's hard to believe that there's nobody else out there who's running into these same problems. And if there So what am I doing? What am I doing that's so complicated? What am I doing that's not understood? It doesn't doesn't make any sense. Or maybe it does make sense. Maybe this is something brand new that they've never seen before. Mm -hmm.